hello friends welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome my name is Anissa Fon and if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe to help this channel grow and if you're all member you're welcome back thank you for coming back to my channel in my other tutorial I didn't show you on how to create this pattern today we're going to be sewing this skirt step by step if so if you want to know how I go about it keep on watching here I have all my pieces place them up together I have my the back of the skirts and I have the two lining which are going to go in inside and I also have the the piece that is going to go inside that's the front piece that is going to go inside with the lining as well and I have the other piece that we're going to be dropping it up okay and the lining as well and I also have my waistband I went ahead to add uh, interfacing to it Next thing we're going to do, we're going to start uh, dropping up the pieces. But we want to be able to drop it so it should fit with this lining right here. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mark it up with chalk. All right. Because I will go ahead to remove that pattern. After marking it up, I went ahead and removed my pattern. So you can see. Here are the pieces. You want to pick number one and join it up together. Just like this, as you can see me doing. Pick it up and pin them up. Then I'm going to bring up the second one and pin it up while making sure everything looks nicely and smooth. Just like so. See what I'm doing here? I'll pick it up and pin that up. I'll continue doing it till I get to the end. Then when I'm done, I'll just take it to the ironing board and press that up to lay it flat. Once I'm done pressing it up, I'll just go ahead to add the lining to it just like so and pin that up. All right. While making sure I remove my pin and pin the lining to the main piece together. I'll just go ahead and continue pinning it all the way round. Then I'll do the same thing to the other side. While placing the right side, make sure you place the right side facing each other. I'll do this for the back piece what i'll do is to go ahead first of all mark my zipper allowance then i'll go in by four inch i'll mark it up then i go down by four inch and notch that up i'll do the same thing to the other part as well that's to create a dark half inch and half inch outside then we'll pin that up like this then we'll stitch and we'll stitch here like this all the way to this other side do the same thing to the piece like this okay just follow up how i'm stitching it up all right because we want to keep the inside very neat i went ahead and stitch flip that to the right side press that up this is what the back is looking like as you can see oh very 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 neat then i also did the same thing to the two front pieces as well this is what it's looking like as you can see i went ahead and pressed that up flip it to the right side this is the side that's going to go inside and the side that's going to go outside when you actually put them up make sure this distance here are the same all right next thing i'll do is to go ahead now i'll pin my back piece with the front piece as well just go ahead and place it up like this i'll go ahead to pin that up by making sure everything same i'll pin that up
once I'm done painting, I'll just take it to the machine and stitch the two sides same. When I'm done stitching, I'll take it to the ironing board and press that up to lay it flat, right? You can see, look at the way the inside is very, very neat. Now the next thing I will do is to go ahead now, I will add the waistband to the skirt. I will go ahead to add my waistband but make sure the interfacing part is facing outward of my skirt. Once I'm done pinning that up, I'll just take it to the machine. I'm going to stitch it up. I'll stitch half an inch away. Then now what I will do is to go ahead now and trim all the excess first of all. Then I'll flip up my my waistband like this just and cover it and top stitch right on top that line there. Once I'm done uh, top stitching the waistband, I'll just go ahead and add my zipper and I'm done with this cut. Thank you so much for watching.